Hello and welcome back to the Frank Olson Twins YouTube channel. Today I'm building a stereo VU meter bridge, a long overdue project for my studio. These are the parts I'm using, and there's a schematic for the diode bridges that I'll link to in the description. The meters will be powered by this readily available 5532 preamp board, which has a built-in rectifier circuit. The lights are powered by this voltage regulator, since the 5532 requires more than 8 volts. Here's some protoboard for the diodes, and my VU meters salvaged from an old tape recorder. Almost any vintage or modern VU meters can be used for this project, and there are tons available online. Okay, I'll begin by making my diode bridges on the protoboard. This cap at the end of the board gives the needles a softer return stroke to even out the response to an average volume. That said, I won't go into VU meter standards or ballistics here. There's so much information online, and meters have been around for a very long time. This is the finished diode board, and I double checked to find any possible shorts in the wiring and clean those up. Here's the wiring diagram for my project. And now I'll test my voltage regulator for my meter lamp power supply. Okay, it works. And I can adjust the voltage and easily set the voltage as needed. I'll keep these around 7 volts to hopefully extend the life of the lamps as long as possible. Here's how I hooked up my input pots. For the most accurate calibration settings, either use two separate pots or a stereo resistive attenuator. Anything from about 50k to 100k will work fine. Higher or lower than that range just might be a little harder to calibrate. I'm hooking up the left and right channels to the meters. In my case, both hot signals were red and the ground for each was white. The grounds get soldered together and taped off. The needle grounds go to the main input signal ground as shown on the diagram. And here's my fully hooked up and working system, complete with an on-off switch. I also made a mahogany case for my meter bridge, which was time-consuming. I used pure toil for the finish, which was time-consuming. All that's left is to fit everything in the case and calibrate the meters. The meters get calibrated with a plus 4 dBU signal, which in AC voltage is approximately 1.228 volts. Using the AC setting on my voltmeter, I start by setting a 1K signal to 1.228 volts on my output. Now I can adjust my input pots to sit at zero on the VU scale. You can set these to any voltage reference you like by sending a signal to a specified voltage and calibrating your meters to zero. And there you have it. A pretty simple project to make a useful studio tool. I'll add links for parts in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Thanks for watching.